ACK's Casey Nolan, who has been covering this and doing an excellent job, by the way, for uh, Channel 5, has been uh, out all night long covering the overnight police shootings as well as all the other news that's been going on. Casey Nolan, thanks for joining us. You bet, McGraw. So what's going on with this police shooting? Let's start there in Ian Ferguson. What's that story all about? Well, if, uh, according to police, uh, they got a call around 1 o'clock in the morning that they had four men in ski masks with shotguns in a neighborhood uh, that's technically just outside the city limits of Ferguson here on Chambers. Um, I'd say I, you know, I'm estimating a, about a mile from the quick trip that burned. It's been kind of the, 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 the central point of a lot of activity. But just about two blocks from the church where uh, Al Sharpton and the young man Michael Brown's family spoke to a crowd last night. So just about two blocks from there, the report that came in was they had four men in ski masks with shotguns in the neighborhood and shots fired. When they got here, we don't know if they actually saw men in ski masks, but they do say um, suspects, their words, uh, were running in multiple directions. One of those suspects turned with a handgun, uh, pointed it at a St. Louis County police officer. That officer uh, fired at least once, hit the man. The man's in critical condition. Uh, okay. Now, subsequently, to that, that happened at what time? One o'clock? Around 1 a.m. early this morning, yeah. Okay, now let's get to the other one, which they're now saying is unrelated? Correct. You know, I had some similar circumstances in that the initial reports involved uh, four people, but they believe they are, they, the police, uh, uh, Ryan Dean is on that story about uh, 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 roughly a mile again away from where we are here, and Ryan tells me that the police are saying they, at this time, uh, do not believe the two are connected. Uh, it was some sort of a perhaps a, a drive-by type situation where a bullet uh, grazed the woman in the head. It did not go through her skull, and apparently she's going to be okay. And she was able to talk to police, right, Casey? And, I, and, and Kelly, you may know more than me because Ryan uh, took that part yeah. over, and I've been unable to hear his reports since about 530. So right. you, you may have uh, later information than I do. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the police shooting, have the police... Uh, said anything? Uh, have they released the officer's name? Have have they released any other information on that uh, on this shooting that happened last night? No, they have not. And I should say, you know, in in, in the times that uh, we've covered, as far as I can remember, any sort of police involved shooting, unless there are charges of some kind against an officer, I, th- th- that name is never released uh, in my experience. So no, 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 none of that information is out there. Um, we are trying to track them. We've. We've been told, we've heard, we've been told, we thought we may have even saw through a long lens, uh, but in the dark, uh, what looked to be a, a gun that officers were standing over when they were collecting evidence. But I, that is unconfirmed, uh, and we're, try, we're still trying to track that down. I can tell you that they, the St. Louis County Police uh, tell us that the officers, the St. Louis County Police officers who responded were doing their normal, I believe it's North Precinct, uh, uh, patrols. They were doing their normal duties here. They were not part of this large mass of multi-jurisdictional police officers uh, that, have, that have amassed here as, as, in a response to the events here in Ferguson. Right, and, and you keep saying St. Louis County Police. It was St. Louis County Police and not Ferguson Police. Correct, because we're technically, uh, I don't have the map right in front of me, but we're at least uh, five blocks or, or more so, so we're we're east of West Florissant, so we're uh, by at least five blocks or so, and and we're at least that far out of the city limits of Ferguson. Yeah. So, so uh, let's go back to these four with with ski masks, one of which is shot and in critical condition. Was there any uh, any reports of them uh, vandalizing, looting, robbing, uh, breaking into cars, anything like 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 that? What do we know? What they were doing with with ski masks walking down the street? We do not. I, I, I've heard nothing more about that at all, except that I can tell you the police tell us that they did not believe they did not believe that these individuals were involved in the demonstrations, protests that had broken up, um, you know, an hour or so prior to this. And that okay. was was that your story that you were doing last night? The protest? Yeah, we, we yeah we we covered uh, uh, photographer Don Galloway and I stayed uh, past the ten o'clock show last night as the demonstrators uh, came, uh, it, it had calmed down for, for quite a while, uh, and then, the, then the, most of them have gone to other events. Well, then they went from those events back to the QT that burned, where police had, had formed a, a barricade with officers and with, uh, with the big, heavy uh, SWAT vehicles, and they came back there 
uh, and kind of had a standoff with, with police who were telling them to go home, and they weren't going anywhere. That lasted for uh, until sometime before midnight. They turned, started marching north uh, away from the police officers, and as they marched, they kind of just that, that they kind of disbanded. They, they got the, the group got smaller, they got less organized, and we we actually started to leave Ferguson. Uh, it looked like it was all over. Um, a little bit, uh, 30 minutes, an hour later, there was a little more activity. There was some tear gas used on a smaller group of people that uh, police say would not disperse. Casey Nolan, we'll let you get uh, to your real job at KSDK Channel 5. Thanks for checking in, and uh, great work as always. Thanks, Casey. Okay, thanks, Mabella. Thanks, Kelly. You got it. 627, KT.